How are you? I'm very well. How are you, Alex? I'm really well. Thank you for asking. Now, I saw your face as you just came over that step there and saw all this. What do you make of it? It's the moment when you just have to sort of let yourself sit back and go, this is pretty damn cool. This is like, you know, you don't get this often. This will not happen to me again. A premiere in Trafalgar Square, this is, this is a one-off. You know, the whole, the whole series, not just the film, not just the end products of the films, but the way they were made, the atmosphere in which they were made is kind of unrepeatable. So it it's, uh, it's, seems like a fitting, uh, a fitting event. Yeah, it's, it's pretty amazing. When you see this, does it make you, <laughs> does it make you happy or, or sad that this won't be ever happening again? Um, I, I don't think it's either of those things. I mean, it's in, incredibly happy, and I just think you have to sort of... Um, oh, very good. I've seen a sign that says Wand Out, Potter. <laughs> very good. Um, but no, I mean, you know, it's... Um, you just have to let yourself kind of revel in it and just enjoy it while it lasts, because it won't happen again, and it is the last one. And, and yeah, so there is a bit of sadness, but generally speaking, it's a, it's a day to be elated. Did you get to keep the glasses? Yes. I have two pairs. I have one pair, they're so happy for me. Um, I had one pair from the very first film and then one from the last, so I've, I've got my fair share of swag. Ever try them on when you're obviously not on set? Um, not yet, but I'm sure when I'm having a nostalgic, teary moment in 10 years' time, I'll try and put the ones from when I was 10 on and cry to myself in the mirror. <laughs> and now, I was talking to David Yates earlier, and he says his favorite scene his favourite scene is, um, it's crazy, isn't it? His favourite scene is um, where you're walking through the forest in the, in the final film. Is that yours or do you have another favourite? Um, you know, it was, I, it's one of my favourites, um, partly because it was so, uh, I, I built that scene up in my head so much and I was so frustrated and trying to get it right that um, I was quite worried about that scene because there's a huge amount of onus placed on it in the book. Um, but in terms of how it's turned out, it is one of the ones that I'm proudest of. I mean, it's like, I, I very rarely look at anything I do on screen and go, that's good. But in that scene, I was like, yes, at last you've done something half decent. Now, some of the cast here, <laughs> some of the cast here, it's just crazy, isn't it? It, it is, it is quite crazy. It's kind of amazing. I mean, it really, really is. I mean, this is a, it's not raining, it's beautiful, everyone's screaming and happy, and it's just, it's... It's kind of, yeah, I mean, it's just, it's wild. I will never get this again. You know, it's, it's, it's to be appreciated. Uh, now, some of the cast here haven't seen the, the, the film, but I know you have. How would you rate this film in terms of the series? Where does it sit for you? It's just, I cannot emphasize enough how far ahead this film is of any of the others. It is amazing. I mean, I am, I am so proud of, of this film and the way we have gone out in this film is just, we could not have made a better version of this film. It is, it's staggeringly good. And, I, and I'm, I'm, I'm a harsh critic of these films, but I just think this, I think people are gonna go crazy for it, yeah. Now, we're so used to seeing yourself and Rupert and Emma as your characters, Harry, Ron and Hermione, the holy trinity of the Potter movies. Are you gonna miss working alongside them? Of course, you know, when you spend 10 years working with two people, I mean, two very, very special people, you know, it's, of course, you're gonna, you, you know, it's, it's gonna be a very, very strange thing, but I think we always know that the, the, the tie that binds us is this, this series, which, you know, nobody knows what it's like to go through this mad, crazy, surreal, wonderful, inspirational 10 years like we do, and so I think that will always connect us. And in terms of, of, the, of the big connection between you and Voldemort in this movie. I mean, there are some powerful scenes. I think you're fantastic in this film, but there are some really powerful scenes that you have to deliver. How did you prepare yourself for that? Um, a lot, a lot, a, a lot of Radiohead and a lot of kind of Hope of the States and some, some angry. There's, there, and there are certain, there are certain um, songs like there's one song, Enemies, Friends, um, and Mayfair's Isu Friends. I don't know how to say that by Hope of the States that I've always gone back to over the years. And um, they are kind of, yeah, I mean, I keep going back to them to find Harry and it's, um, yeah, music always really helps me get into uh, the kind of the right frame of mind. But also when you're acting opposite Ray Fiennes, there's not a huge amount of action required because he kind of is, he's pretty terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, your fondest memory, I mean, because we're here and it's, it's 10 years you've been doing this. Is there one moment that stands out? Was it the first, the last? A lot of people have been saying how emotional the final scenes they shot were. I mean, they, they were, the final scenes were incredibly emotional and, and, and very, very sad. But 
I think if there's one memory where you just have to go, this is so bizarre and awesome and cool, uh, it's Gary Oldman teaching me the bass line to come together when I was like 14 on the third film. Like, you have to go a long way to beat those moments. You got JK Rowling here. I think but I might have been trumped. I think you should stick around with us. JK Rowling, hello. How are you? Lovely to see you. How are you? Very well. If we uh, turn around and face the camera so that everyone out in the square can see us, fantastic. Oh my God. That's not something I need to see. Go on. Um, first of all, um, how, 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 how do you feel? When you, when you see, see this, I mean, the final premiere for your final film, of your final book. Um, how, how can it be anything other than very, very emotional? This is incredible. And we just heard, I heard someone just go, thank you very much. How does it feel to have so much love from a crowd who've been here for three days camping out for this moment? Well, I love them. I love each and every one of them, you know. They've, they've given me so much. So it's really my thank you to them. It's, um, it's quite emotional, I have to say, having done so many of the premieres myself, seeing the two of you here together, are you going to miss working in such close proximity? Yeah, well, I uh, You were there every day, weren't you? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was there, I was down standing. <laughs> well, no, I mean, the wonderful thing about Joe is that she let us have a huge amount of freedom in, you know, that she wasn't like an author who was there going, you're not doing it right all the time. You know, she, she always understood that the books are untouchable. So that, you know, we, we, it's, it's not that we were in any way trying to compete or, with that or anything, and, there was, and we would never try to. But, um, but yeah, I'll, I'll, I, will, I will certainly miss being able to like, you know, I mean, it's, you know, having conversations on the fifth film about Nabokov. And no, yes, absolutely. No, it's too sad. And we'll have to have, <laughs> we'll have to have reunion yeah. meetings and things. It's, yeah. But I trusted them. The big thing is, you know, I knew they were getting it right. I trusted them. They've been amazing. And you're actually a producer on this final film, which was a first for you. How did you find that? What made you decide to do that in the first place? Well, Warner Brothers have very kindly offered me a producer credit for years, and I think finally it, it felt right. The cumulative experience of <laughs> ten, 10 years, yeah, I finally felt I, I wanted to do that, yeah. It seems like the, the most appropriate time to ask. When you first, on that delay train, came up with the character of Harry Potter. Yes, yes, I knew I would one day be <laughs> standing in Trafalgar. At last I can come clean. I knew. <laughs> I always knew I would be standing in Trafalgar Square with people chanting my name. And I wasn't even called JK then, so... <laughs> yeah. uh, now, obviously, uh, Daniel Radcliffe is now one of the most famous English actors across the world. And, uh, and you really, you, you made sure that the characters and, and the locations and so much of the film remained English and British. Why was that important to you? It was, it was absolutely crucial to me that that happened. There's such British books. And uh, I always felt that they, we, we just needed to stay true to the essence of the story and, and the Englishness, or the Britishness, because actually Hogwarts is in Scotland, um, was crucial, yeah. And I know you've said you, you don't plan to, to write any more books regarding Harry Potter, but... That, yeah? that, that agreement still stands. <laughs> oh, Dan, you say that now. You'll ring me in 10 years, yeah. bit of a slump. Oh, Bring please. it back. <laughs> write another one. Um, could you see yourself writing other books attached to Harry's universe, the world, the world you've created? I've always said, always, never say never, but I, I have no plans at the moment. But you know what? It's my baby, and if I want to take it out and play there again, maybe one day I will. Well, I have one final question. Obviously, we have thousands of people here in the square, and of course, we have thousands upon thousands of people watching this broadcast online. Do you have any messages for your fans out there of which the number is in the millions? I think it's got to be thank you. I'm, I'm going to... You know, I have to say thank you. What author could have asked for more? Thank you. Well, it's my turn to thank you for being here, J.K. Rowling. Of course, Dan. I just would very, very, very quickly like to say thank you to all of you guys um, for being so, so amazing. I...
I, I would not, I would not have missed this for the world. I'm in New York at the moment, but I had to come for this because I've just, I wouldn't have missed it for anything. And I want to take this opportunity to say publicly that Joe, anything that happens to me for the rest of my career, I owe to this amazing job. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Daniel Ratcliffe and J.K. Rowling, thank you both so much. Ladies and gentlemen, let's head now back to uh, Craig, who's our eyes in the sky. Wow, wow, that was, it was quite emotional, wasn't it? Well, that is not it yet. There is still more to come. J.K. Rowling and, of course,